Okay, so we'll quickly talk about another uh, route of drug administration, which we actually left out when we're talking about uh, uh, pharmacology. So this is what is known as the vaginal route of drug administration. All right. So vaginal route of drug administration just involves putting uh, drugs directly into the vagina. So it could be gel, it could be suppositories, it could be tablets, it could be what? Vaginal rings, could be films, different things. So uh, vaginal route of administration involves what? You delivering medications through the vagina. So this method can provide both local and systemic effects. So it's not make it what? Versatile for various medical conditions, right? So what are the types of medications that can be delivered through the vagina? Sometimes it could be vaginal tablets or suppositories. So these are actually what solid medications that dissolve inside the vagina to release medicine. Vaginal rings, these ones are flexible rings that release hormones gradually over time. We've spoken about them. Vaginal creams or gels, they are used for localized treatment for infections or hormonal therapies. Okay. Advantages, there's a local or systemic therapy. So like you can have a local effect. If you want to just act on the vagina, you are delivering it directly. So you can just act on that. There's minimized side effect. This is non-invasive. The bioavailability is high. Self-administration, you can give it yourself without a medical professional having to help you. Disadvantages is limited to specific uses. So just primary for what gynecology and reproductive health. Uh, absorption differs in human in different individuals. There's potential for irritation because you are applying it directly. You might actually become what irritated. There's inconvenience. Some patients may actually feel uncomfortable, like something is in you. You understand? Limited drug volume. Then the uh, onset of action is very very slow. All right. So this is what vaginal route of drug administration.